Hey yo everyone, this is the Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another walkthrough episode for the game Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. <coughs> so anyway, there's... Anyway, there's that. That on my SD cards has been minimalized, so... I can only do, do like, well, less than 20 minutes of footage here for this episode, so let's see the events unfold. I don't know uh, whether to laugh or cry that I know more about that sh show than a kid. It's a very comfortable and spacious lounge set. I wonder if it, if famous stars have, if famous stars drop by and sit around and have a good time. In any case, I don't re really belong here, do I? Arr! What is with me in feeling inferior today? Oh, there's a giant cooking hearth here. That's actually a fireplace. How are they different, Mr. Nick? You know, I've never actually seen a hearth before, come to think of it. You should come and visit Fade Monarch. Then I'll show you one when, when you do. Oh, there's a giant cooking hearth. Not really where I was pointing at. There's another door over there. You shouldn't go wandering off over there, Mr. Nick. Yes, Pearl. Now I know how Maya feels when I tell her how to stop playing around. March 22nd, Gatewater Hotel, Vlot Hall. Looks like we're the only ones here. And yet, the hotel seems so busy somehow. Probably because the police team is scoring for clues about the killer. March 22nd, Gatewater Hotel, Hallway. Hey, city boys! L Lotta, you're still here? Reckon, course. An investigative photographer eats or starves on her ability to snap up the scoopy ass. And this hotel has, just has that aura of mystery. You know, like something's always about to happen. But do you have a camera? Rick Given, a photographer's gotta have cameras out the ear like a corn to be a real pro, you, you know? So I'm hanging around here. Speaking of cameras and feeding the, the mouse, do you have mine, you bread thief? Why can't you drop that thief thing already? Night, I want to ask you about the night of the murder. What? You really going to shell out the, the bucks for the info I got? Why, you were loitering in this hallway the night of the murder, were you not? Well, kind of, but brace yourself, right? Here it comes. I didn't exactly hang around here the entire time, you know. Followed a few stars around. Got a few autographs, shook a few hands, had a soul pop with a few of them too. Looks like she wasn't here the entire time that night. The security lady also wasn't in this hallway the whole time either. I guess this means that there's no one who can tell us who came and went went that night. The scandal. So about the note that was inside your camera case. Oh, that video I wrote. Yeah, I can't believe what you uh, what you written. You mean the stuff about guard shoving his manager or lady in, onto Corita? Yeah. Oh well, I reckon you best not uh, be believing that. What? Look, I sort of wrote down on the whim, you know, right? Whatever came to mind. Whatever came to mind. Yeah, when you get down to it, it's just a law or a random bull dude. Hey, what's with ya? Why are you staring at me like my grandpa used to? Huh. Why do you look like you suddenly got older too? 
Or am I just shrinking here? Come on. Ah, oh, my baby, my $1,600 bit, dollar baby. What's with that red-coated prosecutor anyhow? The guy told me it, it was evidence and he refused to give it back to me. Well, that's kind of how it is. Hey, hey, you're that right coach friend, ain't you? So put in a few good words for me to get my, get me, get me back my camera. You want me to do that? Listen, nag the guy. The guy real good for about five hours, and I guarantee he'll give it back. Why don't you do it? Why don't you do your own dirty work? I reckon it's time for me to get going. A tabloid photographer without a camera is just a tabloid, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Keep yourself together out there, you hear? I'm coming to see you in court tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you then. And you too, and, and you too there, little one. Keep up the good old work, okay? Okay, don't be picky about your food now. Okay, and make sure you do all your homework, you hear? Okay, and if you happen to find yourself a camera, make sure you bring it to me, right? Will you please just leave already? Oh man, Korea's hotel room. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Nick, what is that otherworldly ghastly moaning? I, I hate evil ghosts. I don't think it's a ghost. Maybe it's a demon. But excuse me, what? Watch who you're calling the demon, brat. Ah! Doink, it's an el it's the alien. Who are you calling an alien? <laughs> oh, it's just you, Miss Old Dad. What are you doing here? What is wrong with youngins today? I came down here to pay my respect to my poor Juan and you're disturbing me. Night of murder. Please talk to me about the night of murder just one more time. I talked about playing at the trial. I was full tricked, deceived by that fraud of a photographer in her notes. She was loitering around here with that imbecilic look on her face. With that imbecilic look on her face. Okay, got it. Now hold on a second there, you little pip squeak. If you're if you're going to take notes, at least make you make me sound better than that. Oh, all right. Now I've seen everything. But you know, I was working that night too, doing my job, minding my own business. So it's not like I had time to waste uh, standing around here the whole night. Memories of Corita. I was wondering if you could tell me more about Mr. Corita. He was the most popular star, you know, especially where he counts in my book. But I heard that, that he was uh, lagging behind in the polls against Mr. Ungar. Um, well, that's just a recent thing. Bad luck and all of that, you know? But he was going to become an even bigger star than he used to be. Look, just look at this smile in the present. It's a show of a mountain of feelings all his fans had for him. Yeah, the mountain of pretty big and certainly nothing to shake a stick at. Mr. Nick, um, what is it, Pearl? The present. They're all bears, right? She's got a point. There isn't a single thing that here that isn't a bear. Present. All Mr. Corey's presents from his fan seem to be bear. Oh, that's because you can't think of one without thinking about bear. Bear? Why bear? You'll know when my dear Juan was training, he fought barehanded with a bear. He refused to give in and let the bear win. But after the fight, they became friends. Well, what a heartwarming story. Look, it's just like in those young and young people's drama. I can see the those who tuckered that those two tuckered out down by a river going, Heh, <laughs> you. You sure can fight, you too, Bub, you too. Did, did that all that really happen? It's in his autobiography, Bub. What a load of crock! So ever since then it's been Fans have been giving him bears as presents. Yeah, nice. Bear. 
I'm Uncle Bear, and I say it's barely eight o'clock. What, what what is that infernal racket? It's one of the presents going off. Sounds like it's already eight p.m. Way past your bedtime. Ugh, that startled me. I thought I was going to die for a second. Eight p.m. That's the time when the, the award ceremony ended that night. Remember? Time sure flies. Hard to believe it's been two days since the ceremony. The transceiver. Hello? Hello? This is not a phone. Maya, how is Maya? You haven't heard her, have you? It seems you were not able to fulfill your end of the bargain, Mr. Wright. I've heard the news. So it would seem my pre present did you no good. No, Mystic Maya, Mystic Maya! One more day, please. All I ask is for one more day. I, I'll get the not guilty verdict for sure this time, please. I suppose if I must. I need that acquittal more than anything else, after all. Please, please let Maya say something. I want to hear her. She's all right. All right. And a little. What is with the stack all of a sudden? Hello? Hello? It seems it's bad. <coughs> Connect. Damn it, did the transceiver just suddenly break? Excuse me. What happened? Oh no. All of a sudden it became nothing but static. Ah! Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! Why did the transceiver suddenly break like that? I should probably have an electronics expert look at it. The sooner the better. I don't have anything to say to the delinquent like you. Er, she's climbing up like the old clown she is. Please, anything would be helpful. Well then, how about I tell you my measurements? Um, no, that's okay. Really. She really doesn't like you. Does she, Mr. Nick? I know, I know. John Doe. March 22nd, Police Station, Criminal Affairs Department. <coughs> wow, everybody looks really busy with something or another. Hmm. They're probably striking the evidence for tomorrow's trial. <laughs> Hurry up with that, will ya? Press, the vic press that victim's list around. Now you're speaking nonsense. There's more than 100 people on there. Uh, Mr. Nick, is Mr. Ongard a really bad, terrible criminal? Actually, Pearl's like, never mind. It sounds like they were what, working on a different case. Hey, welcome back, pal. I thought I'd make you a little something for dinner. Th that's nice. Thanks. It's a rich man's luxurious full course meal. I'm a can that is. I'm sorry you went through all that trouble to cook, but I don't have the time to eat. Oh hey, you don't have the can opener here, pal. You've gotta be kidding. And here I thought he had already whipped something up. Oh I know. There is well one way I know how it'll be helpful. Ask me about anything you want, pal. Go ahead. Well, since he's a here and offering, I wonder what I should try asking him about. Oh 
yeah, you know about this card? Card? Edwards, for some reason, went to pale the instant he saw his card. Hey, I know what this is, pal. You do? No matter what you say, no matter what say you look at it, I say it's a picture of a shell. Um, that's it? Oh yeah, that's right. Mr. Edwards really likes those cooked snail things. Um, what are they called again? Escargot or something like that. It's Escargo. Mr. Nick, I think we just saw the mystery of why Mr. Edwards' face turned pale, right? As I suspected, Gumshoe has no clue. Could you please take a look at this? Um, I can't think of anything to say about this, pal. Why don't I make us some instant noodles instead? That, that's okay, really. That's the first time I've seen that side of Edward, pal. Forcing people to say what he wants to do. Wants them to do during the testimony. I want to know what in the world happened to him all this time he's been gone. Is she alright? After being shot, I mean. Her wound isn't that bad, well. The gunshot wound, anyway. But the wound to her pride, now that's a, a different story, pal. The wound to her pride. Well, until now, she's always upheld the Von Karma Creek. But since she came here, well, you've given her pride quite a beating, pal. Oh, I mean, she may act all grown up, but she's really still just an 18 year old. Quite frankly, I worry about her, pal. The transceiver. Oh, Mr. Nick, you should ask Mr. Scruffy Detective about that thing. What thing? Oh yeah, this thing just up and broke all of a sudden. It broke, pal? When I was talking to the kidnapper, it just suddenly broke into static. Look, it sounds like this. I don't hear any static, pal. Huh? Maybe it fits itself. That's strange. I'm sure it was making a loud static noise. Hmm, maybe. Maybe what? Maybe it was the... Maybe it was the electromagnetic interference, pal. Electromagnetic interference. Um, so what is this ele electromagnetic interference? It's something that happens when a radio wave gets mixed up with another signal, pal. Oh, when you put it that way. I don't understand what you're talking about. Like, for example, when a cell phone goes off next to a computer screen, the cell phone on the screen gets kind of fuzzy and starts acting funny, right? Huh? Computer? Um, it's like when you use the dryer next to the TV, and the screen starts looking weird. Oh, yes, the TV does uh, do that. Hmm. Oh, so that's what you're talking about. She seems amazingly happy at at being able to understand it. So the room you were in at that interference is the transceiver happened. There's got to be something in there that's uh, sending out very strong radio waves sound. Something like, hmm, like listening, a listening device or something. Ah, hey, speaking of that, where were you uh, when it happened? We were in Mr. Correa's room, the scene of the murder. What? That's it, I'm going to sneak into the precinct and get a bug sweeper. I'll meet you at the crime scene later, alright, pal? Uh, wait, Gumshoe. Oh yeah, baby. It's investigating time. I'm on fire, pal. My fingers are itching to go. Yeah! We should be going too, Mr. Nick. Alright, let's go. Hey, you're finally here, pal. 
sorry to keep you waiting. You uh, have the, um, bug sweeper? Um, well, you see, I got busted trying to sneak in, pal. Then suddenly I'm st staring at the pre precinct door. From the outside, I mean, so yeah, I couldn't get one of the police bug sweepers. What do you mean you couldn't get it? We need that item. Hey, hey, calm down, pal. Didn't I say I did, didn't get one, just not by the police. Wow, so this is a bug sweeper. It looks like a, a little broken. Hey, this, this was made when I was in elementary school, pal. Oh, by who? Me, of course. Ah, seeing this uh, sure brings back memories. Hey, don't look down on it, pal. It sure looks sure look a little run down. But I put my heart and soul into building this puppy here. Your heart and soul? It'll work, trust me, pal. It'll do the job. But, but, but you can't set the sen sensitivity, so it's going to beep at anything that gives off electromagnetic waves. But isn't it better that way? Oh, <laughs> well, anyway.